Hello all you lovelies, Jennifer Zilliotto here, back again for another Style Fix video. I'm sitting by my fire. It is a snowy day here in Montreal, and I wanted to talk about style. You know, style was always something that came really easily and naturally to me. I always loved dressing as a young person. If you remember me from my teenage years, I totally loved vintage shopping, and I had kind of like an Annie Hall thing going on. And I realized that after meeting so many of you, that it doesn't come easily for everybody. And it becomes something that becomes a struggle. And that, over time, made me ask myself a lot of questions. What is style? How do you find your inner style diva, really, for lack of a better word? Because Dressing is about be having fun and being a creative process and celebrating who you really are. So if you're told, like we all have been told, you should be wearing black if you're curvy, you should not wear stripes if you have a certain body type, I think that if stripes make you feel good, then you should wear them. That's what style is. Owning your beauty. So the first myth about style is that you can't love and accept yourself right now. That you have to be 10 pounds lighter, you have to look a certain way, be a certain persona that you're not really. Enjoy it now because it can be fun and because you deserve to celebrate you. Myth number two, which I find is particularly painful, is this whole idea of finding acceptance for ourselves. Having this set of rules that we decided that if I'm not thin enough, if my bangs haven't grown in, if I don't want to show my knees, for instance, that keeps us in a box and doesn't let us enjoy style and creativity because we've created this for ourselves. And sometimes it takes that sisterly love of somebody like me or a trusted friend to push you outside of the box so that you can find your true style because you're never gonna find it unless you're playful with it. Okay, and the third myth is that style can't be comfortable. That if you look good, you may not feel comfortable. And I've said it over and over, if it's not comfortable, you're not gonna wear it. So if you don't like the color green and you've been told the color green looks good on you, you're never gonna wear it. If you've also been told that you need to have that belt with that outfit, but you hate the way the belt feels or, way, uh, or the way a fabric feels, you're never gonna wear it. You have to look, you have to have an outfit that we see you and not necessarily the clothes shining through. So myth number four is all about embracing yourself. Not camouflaging your flaws, so to speak, because that is disempowering. That already is negative. If you embrace and highlight what you absolutely love, that brings so much power to you and then you go off in the day feeling amazing and then you look amazing. Lastly, myth number five is all about not comparing yourself to other people. Being inspired by other people but staying true to you. Easier said than done, I know, but I think that it is so important. So that is it, my friends, for this week. Next week, we're gonna talk about how do I find my personal style. If you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, for more style ideas and more inspiration, you know you can continue to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.